What is up, guys? It's Grayson and Sam. Free Media Home Theater. We're out here in Euless, Texas today. Oh, yeah. And we're doing a little clip surround sound installation of 5.1. Let me show you what we're going to do. And we're going to start off by bringing all our boxes in. All right, guys, we just got all the boxes up the stairs. It's another 100 degree day here in Texas. So it's been a hot one, to say the least. But here's the space we're gonna be dealing with today. We're gonna to be doing some tower speakers. We're gonna pull these wires down on both sides. And we're using the RP6000Fs from Klipsch. And we're, as well as the center here, we're gonna be pulling down to the bottom for our RP404C. For our projector screen, we're gonna be using the Dragonfly 120 inch high contrast gray screen. And in our surrounds, we're gonna be doing the RP402SAs. These are bipolar speakers. And we're gonna be putting those in the rears. This is a wired for a 7.1 in the future that is expandable. We did power this up with the Marantz 5014. That's gonna be terminating over here. That's gonna be powering the system. Up for projection, we're gonna be using the Epson 4050. And then for our subwoofer, it's gonna be going over here in the corner. It's terminating down here. This is the SPL 120. We're gonna get all these products unboxed for you guys and snap a little quick picture and then we'll get the installation started and you guys can follow along. All right guys, we got all of our products unboxed and on display for you. So here in the front left and right, we have our 6000 Fs, like I said earlier. SPL 120, and then we have our surround speakers. These are bipolar, these are the RP402 SAs. And for our projection, we're gonna be using the Marantz 5014. This year's model just came out. Center channel, this is the RP404C. And then for projection, uh, we're gonna be using the Epson 4050. And then uh, for our projector screen, we're gonna be using the Dragonfly 120 inch high contrast gray screen. Always make sure, or we always try to put these uh, surrounds, all speakers, preferably at ear level for optimal listening. Uh, keep in mind though that if you do have children, these are only hanging on there um, just by a screw, kind of like a picture or a painting on the wall. So if you got some little crazy kids, you might want to put them up higher <laughs> out of their reach. Take two, that's the left over there, and now we got the right down. So you have your high frequencies, and then down here is your low frequencies. These are a uh, bridge, so what it does is it just runs them together opposed to as two separate channels. Uh, and that's what we're going to be using today for this implementation. Keep in mind, this is a ported uh, tower speaker, so you are going to want to keep it a little bit off the wall. All right, now that we got the end of our fish line where our receiver is going to be sitting, I'm going to now tape the Ethernet as well, or the cat, pardon me cat cable as well as the HDMI to the end of it and we'll pull it through. Now uh, that we got our wires run, next we're going to put on the included chief mount that comes with the projector. Just put them in all the screw holes, I think you guys get the idea. Alright guys, next we're going to mount our projector mount to the ceiling. Sam's got our stud marked out here. We're going in this direction, and then we have our center mark as well, right there. So you take your drill, take your bolts. That's so sad. You take your bolts and you drill. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting a little tired, but it's gotta get done. Brian, 
line don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Line it up with your studs. Sand it up like somewhat straight, not somewhat perfectly. That looks perfectly somewhat straight. <laughs> no, that looks great. Screw these bad boys in. All right, guys, now once you've got it into your studs, a little dirty, you're going to want to put your extension pull on it, about a six inch drop down bolt. Make sure you thread the correct way. Up to this, you're ready tighty. Not too tight. You do want to be able to take off in the future. You have upgraded. And then put in your locking screw. This just gives it tension up here. Very important. So that protects your pole and now it doesn't move over time. Next, put this piece of the mount on. Slide it into the keyholes that are one of the key to cut it. What's the keyhole? And then we'll go for it. It's good to have a friend. <laughs> what had happened when I put it up here, the lever kind of switched over so that it was in the locked position opposed to the open position. But once you got it in there, make sure you relock it and take the key out so it's up there for good. Then you'll connect your HDMI's. Make sure with the 4050 you connect it to the it's HDMI 2. Which is HDCP 2.2, which is, yes, it's HDMI 2. And plug in your power. And also, make sure you use surge protection. All right, guys, we're moving right along. Sam has just got our wall mount bracket for the screen up on the wall here. And then down here, we have the screen completed. The projector is mounted. All of our surround speakers are in and our subwoofer fronts are in just need to be moved a little bit and then we're going to hook up our amplifier and now mount the projector <laughs> or screen <laughs> projector screen all right guys y'all ready for this y'all ready for this copyright <laughs> all right we'll put the screen up guys we got our mount all leveled. Now just hangs on there like a picture. Like that. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Alright guys, we've got our screen mounted. Next we're gonna take our speaker toner. By fluke. Just Take those. Make sure you have it set to tone. Take it to your positive and negative. And what it's doing is sending power through the line and outputting points. So now you hear one of our speakers is toning. We're going to go find out which one it is. Down a little bit, and we'll just be resting on top of there. In order to get it down off, you have to undo the bracket and then. All right, so that's our front left. Yeah, it's really on. So we're gonna take our little stickers for our customer. That done and includes with their amplifiers, and we're going to label it for him in case he ever needs to, uh, you know, get back here. All right, guys. Once you got all your lines labeled to the corresponding speaker then you will hook them up to the back of the amplifier so let's do that does it look good yeah <laughs> it looks amazing yeah it's really yeah. good yeah. 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 and it's big too yeah 
Yeah. yeah. 120. It's pretty inch. impressive how the good quality you can get even when they spread out the image yeah. so far. Mm -hmm. We'll do some uh, audio calibration here, and then we'll do the audio demo for you. All right, guys. What up, MTV? <laughs> Welcome to my crib. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the conclusion of the video, guys. Let me just do a rundown of what we all did here today. Me and Sam, we knocked this out. Oh, yeah. So we'll start up here in the front. We moved our left, front left speaker down the wall and down toward the baseboard. Put a pass-through plate on it, and we did the same for the front right speaker. In the center, we got this all hooked up and on the stand. The customer is probably gonna get be getting a different stand that uh, angles upwards towards his uh, seating area. Mm -hmm. But this is what he has now. For our projector screen today, we have the Dragonfly 120 inch high contrast gray screen. And as you can see, it's perfectly installed and leveled. <laughs> all right guys, I'm gonna play a demo towards the end of this video. I hope you guys liked the video. Me and Sam put a lot of hard work into it. Mm -hmm. Do keep in mind that we do sell all these products installed today as well as many others. We did uh, some Klipsch, uh, Marantz, Epson, Dragonfly, you name it, we got it. I hope you guys like this video. Please give this uh, video a like and subscribe down below. This has been Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. And Sam, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. There's no need to wonder, because you're listening to Dolby Atmos. With Dolby Atmos, audio can precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back, to all the way in front, marks overhead, 